And it, it, you already know. It's freaking sauce season, jabroni. Uncle Bulk out here in the flesh, I think. What do we got today? We got Marie Sharp's Belize in Heat. Yeah. It's got the red seal on it. Mm, which usually means it's hot. Or hotter than the rest of what they put out. I have another one called Beware. You know we're going to be trying that too, but... Let's see how this does. Smells really good. Of course, there's a flow restrictor on top. Those are not allowed in a bull cow household. All right. Let's give it a go, shall we? Nice, nice crevice in the burrito. A good place to pour it. Long time. Yeah, you fill it up just like it's, yeah, it's just, it's just like that. Mm. Hmm. Tastes a lot. So they have the Marie Sharp's original, like hot, extra hot. I reviewed the hot. They have the extra hot, the mild. Then they have this, and then the beware. I think this is supposed to be one step above extra hot. Um, not sure. It's not that hot. Um, not crazy hot, but it does have heat. It tastes pretty close to the other one that I did. It's made from habaneros and carrots. So, um, there's a lot of chili heads that do not like sauces with carrots in them. I am one of them most of the time. But with Marie Sharp's, Melinda's, the carrots just work. Uh, I can taste them in there. Almost reminds me of like a V8, but not. It doesn't taste like a V8, but it's kind of like, you know, vegetable-y. Really, really good. As Picante was saying, he can buy this in his local Walmart for like five a bottle. Um, they don't have this anywhere around me. I had to order it. Hmm. Really good flavor. So those that don't know the story, Marie Sharp was the founder and owner of Melinda's Hot Sauce. Melinda is the name of the farm or the, I think the farm and the region where the habaneros were grown in Belize. She ended up not having her, she wasn't too familiar with trademark laws. So sometime in the, not sure what year, I'm not going to say a year because I, I forgot. Quite a while back, these two brothers that were distributors for her, for Melinda's house sauce, actually trademarked the name Melinda's in the U.S. and started uh, they started selling their sauce. Marie Sharp went ahead and she's still going to make her sauce but she called it Marie Sharp's. And that was pretty grimy of them to do that. Um I know one thing, Melinda's used to be better, and I'm not sure 
who owned it in 97, 98. But even if these guys owned it, they probably used local <clears throat> habaneros. Listen, let me explain something to you. You have a hot sauce company. You have your own farm. You got growers down the road and in the next county over that grow for you. Them habaneros are picked and they're brought in for processing. Nice, thick, green stems, fresh. That sauce is going to have a lot of essence. It's going to taste, whether you're doing a ferment, especially if you're doing a ferment, but whether you're doing a ferment, a cooked mash, <clears throat> anything, even a smoked sauce, the, the taste of the habanero is going to still come through. Okay? You start getting bulk habaneros from Mexico, when they come in, the stems are black and all shriveled up. The habaneros are just these big, huge, really thin-walled, kind of a pale orange color instead of a bright, deep orange. Your sauce won't be the same. And that's what I've seen with lots of companies. There's one from New York. I'm not going to name them on here. Um, a habanero sauce that we used to eat like crazy. Really good habanero flavor, really great heat. Uh, the company was small. And then they got distribution. Yeah. Once they got distribution, and they started having their stuff in the grocery stores, the flavor went down. And it's weird because me and my wife went to one of their restaurants. We we're up there and, then, and actually and I tried the sauce after not having it for some years. <clears throat> and uh, it's just, it's not the same. It's not the same. And it sucks that it's like that. And, 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 and you know, I understand. If you were small batch or medium sized batch. Free to go commercial. You either had to cut corners or raise your price. Grocery stores don't like that. They do not. They do not want to be having hot sauce for ten dollars a bottle or more. No. But uh, regardless. You know, I understand. My thing is, just, just don't do it. Don't do it. If you've got a good product and you got your fame from that product, don't switch it up. We've seen this over the years. Uh, people, uh, let me let me tell you something. And this is, of course, this is produce. So, or eat other stuff, just food. Um. I was at work and I had a banana sitting on my desk and this was a couple years back and my coworker's like, let me have that banana. I said, go ahead. He's like, let me guess. It's organic. <laughs> like busting my balls, you know, cause my, I eat organic bananas. I said, yep, go ahead and eat it. I go, tell me you don't taste a difference. He opened that banana up and he said, just the smell of it brought him back to his childhood. He took a bite and was like, it's sweet. He's like, it's so good. He's like, I haven't had a banana like that since I was a kid. I'm like, yeah, you probably were eating organic bananas. You know, maybe his mother was buying organic bananas at one point. But they dip the bananas in a solution, um, and it ripens them. Not organic. Other bananas. It's, it's like kerosene or something similar. They dip them in this, and I don't remember if it preserves them longer or makes, makes them ripen evenly. Or whatever. But uh, I tried a non-organic banana. Like, I don't know, not too long back. And it was bland. It was terrible. Um, same thing with milk. You know, we drink organic milk. It just tastes so good. I've had milk straight off the farm. It tastes close, pretty close to that. And very few times I've just been somewhere. I've got my hands on some non-organic milk. And... 
it literally just it ta it just tastes terrible. It's just I don't know. So that's the same thing with hot sauce and with peppers. You know, um, you go that non-organic route. You go that commercial route, and what are you getting? Huh? You're getting garbage. Now you're just getting mass production, and you're just you know trying to make money. And the thing is, you get people. You get you get people that just they don't know. A lot of people just don't know. They'll just be buying the hot sauce and. After a while, they'll say, ah, I think I'm getting tired of Melinda's, or I'm getting tired of this, and they'll go on to something else. Um, you know, they, they, they won't even realize, but it's the true foodies. See, we know. We're not stupid. Thank you guys for watching. Comment below if you've had uh, Marie Sharp's Belize and Heat. Yeah.